Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, firstly, if you wonder what the purring noise is in the background, I have a visitor by my cat who's, you know, wants some fusses whilst I voice over. Typical. Sort the kids out, then the cat wants some. <laughs> so this is a gel polish design. This is a super speedy um, design. I am using Nail Kami's Selenite, which is kind of a, it's a white but with an opal effect through it. Um, which was rather nice for this design. So I wanted to just use it as a plain colour. I've done one coat already and this is the second coat that's going on. Now you may, may remember a little while ago I made my own inks, um, which I really love actually and I do want to make some more colours. Um, I just haven't got around to doing it. So anyway, I wanted to play with them again and... Um, I wanted to do it on a gel polish design rather than acrylic, which is what I did last time. So I'm taking off the tacky layer and the fingernail, as you can see. <laughs> I'll just pop that back in there. Um, that, that's the joy of the nails that come in and out of the beds. They, they move. So sticky layer is now off and I've just used um, a bit of gel cleanse. And then I'm going to come along and I've got three... Um, of the inks that I did. So I've got a blue, an orange, and I've got the pinky one. Um, now the first one finger I did, it, it went great. Things go a little bit wrong for the other one. Um, but you know what? It's all right. It's all right. So I'm just going to dab a bit on. Um, and... Yeah, you kind of need to hold the finger down for this as because I wanted it to flow down. So I don't want it to cover the whole nail. I was trying to get just like a little swoosh um, through two of the nails. The pinky and the thumb are just going to remain as they are. Okay, and then I'm just slowly adding the colours in. Now, what I did was, um, I think on one of the fingers i just put too much on and it it kind of flooded it but as i was putting these on you can see as i'm adding the colors in they just started to merge and they started to spread and i really liked them as they are now i do come in with a brush with some um acetone on it actually uh, when we experimented with inks before uh, which was one me and alex did we found that acetone worked better than the um gel cleanse or ipa isopropyl alcohol i think we were using at the time um so i just wanted to kind of get rid of some of the harsh lines and just kind of clean it up a little bit because as i say i didn't want it all over the nail i'm just trying to make a little bit of a sushi with it um as you can see with that with that other nail it's just starting to spread way too much um so I do try and clean it up, but in the end, I it, it just got to a point where I said, no, nope, do you know what? That's not good enough. I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to start again. So all I used was a little bit of uh, acetone on a lint-free pad and just wiped it off. Um, and then I'm trying to angle the finger more to the side to try and get it to flow that way yeah i mean in hindsight trying to wrangle inks to go in a direction that you want them to go in possibly not the greatest idea but <laughs> i wanted to give it a go so i did um but yeah so I, I think angling the finger in the direction you want it to flow in obviously makes it a lot easier because you know gravity kind of comes into play there and helps you along <laughs> Yeah, clearly I did not remember that or think about that in the first instance. So, anywho, we have uh, done the inks and you, you get to a point where you're going, I'm not going to play with it anymore, I'm going to leave it be. And so now I'm going to come in with some base coat on that middle finger because I have these lovely dragonflies from Smiley's Glitter Store, which I'm going to come in. Now... The great thing is, is they're really thin. The downside is that they're so thin that you can't actually bend them to the curve of the nail and they stay in that curve. 
so I am trying to stick this on and the wings of it keep pinging back up. So you will see I have a handy little helper that comes along in a moment uh, in the name of my husband. In the name? In the form of my husband even. Um, <laughs> who is going to use the little flash cure torch which um, Trey gave me. To try and cure that a bit whilst I am holding the wings down. Um, yeah, you see, I'm, I'm just having a little little bit of a fight with it. Um, possibly I might use glue next time with these. Because at least then I can hold it down and the glue will dry. Whereas with the base coat, obviously, until you cure it, it doesn't actually set. Um... Yeah, so here I am having that that moment of going. Uh, uh, I I I can't I can't hold it and flash torch it and hold the finger at the same time. I've I've run out of hands here. Um. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold that down, and he there we go. See, look beautiful, isn't it? Oh, don't look at his cuticles. Oh, men. Anyway, so we're going to flash torch that and then we're going to move on to top coat. Right, so whilst that finger is in the lamp now curing for a full cure, I'm going to come in and start doing the top coat on the other nails. I must say, I, I was a little bit dubious about this colour to start with. I mean, I've had it for about a year, to be honest, and I really haven't used it. Um, but for this design, it worked really nicely um, because it, you get like these little kind of waves almost that goes through it um, just with the natural way that this polish works um, for, the, for this colour. And I just, I really liked it with the ink, actually. I was really chuffed with how these came out. For the um, middle finger, I will do a couple of coats of top coat um, just to help get that one to set. And then that's it. This design is done. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.